I saw that swishing with hydrogen peroxide every day will whiten my teeth. Stop! 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 Hi! Stop. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about hydrogen peroxide and teeth whitening and why it's not a good idea to swish with it. But peroxide is the same ingredient in whitening strips. You're just trying to make me spend more money on the strips. Here's the thing. Yes, most whitening products, strips, trays, and even in-office whitening treatments contain the ingredient peroxide. And peroxide is what whitens your teeth. However, the difference between whitening products and swishing with peroxide straight from the bottle, well, there's a few differences. For one, whitening products are specifically formulated to be placed on your teeth only, not all over the tissues in your mouth, your tongue, lips, cheeks, etc. Also, these whitening products contain specific concentrations of carbon peroxide or hydrogen peroxide so that they will work, especially if they are ADA approved, approved by the American Dental Association. I'll link my video more about that in the description box if you'd like to learn more. But for the purpose of this video, these whitening products have also been tested for both safety and efficacy to whiten teeth, whereas hydrogen peroxide straight from the bottle has not been tested for safety and efficacy specifically regarding whitening your teeth. But it literally says to swish around the mouth on the direct in this bottle. Okay, yes, that brings me to my next point. Yes, it says swish around the mouth and or apply a small amount on the affected area of the skin. These directions also say use as needed. Just like you wouldn't rub your whole body with peroxide every day, you shouldn't be swishing with peroxide every day either. Like you use peroxide on your skin when you say have a cut, right? Once the cut gets better, you don't use it anymore. And that's the same with swishing in your mouth. Sometimes in some cases, yes, it is recommended to swish if you have certain things going on in your mouth, tissue issues. However, once the issue is resolved, the reason you were swishing has been fixed, the peroxide did its job, then you stop. So having said that, if you're trying to use it to whiten your teeth, swishing with it daily, you're not only killing off the bad bacteria in your mouth, but you're also killing off the good bacteria in your mouth, which is not good. It can adversely affect the health of your gums, cheeks, lips, tongue, and create a bunch of other side effects in your mouth. Okay, fine. How about I just place it on a Q-tip and place it on my teeth, then it won't touch my gums or my mouth tissues. I've seen people try to do this. I guess you can try it, but really, unless you're gonna keep your mouth open smiling, it's still going to touch your gums. Or if you're trying to make your own DIY whitening trays with foil, I've even seen some people use cling wrap to hold the peroxide in place and so it doesn't touch your lips. Truly none of this is worth it. It offers very little contact time with your teeth. You're better off just using a whitening toothpaste if you want to reduce stains from forming on your teeth. That can help, but it won't remove old stains stains, just so you know. Trying to help you not waste your time, right? Okay, got it. Placing it on our teeth isn't worth it. But really, I know you said there's some side effects to the swishing, but I've been swishing and I haven't noticed any side effects. What should I actually be worried about? So like I said, too much peroxide will mess up the bacterial flora in your mouth, killing off both the good and bad bacteria, which can lead to a bunch of not fun things, such as black hairy tongue. This often happens. The tiny little papilla, which are finger-like extensions on the surface of your tongue, they can grow and become elongated because you messed up the bacteria in your mouth, which will make it look like hair is growing on your tongue. And these papillae also tend to pick up stain and turn black from all the peroxide exposure. Whenever I see this on my patients at work, it's a telltale sign that they have been over rinsing with hydrogen peroxide. I've also had patients where the swishing caused soft tissue irritation on their gums, causing redness and itchiness, which is super uncomfortable and not something you wanna be dealing with. So those are the two big things that can happen from swishing, black hairy tongue and soft tissue irritation, which is why I definitely don't recommend anyone to swish with peroxide daily for teeth whitening. If you need to use it for something else going on in your mouth for a short amount of time, it's fine. But if you plan to use it daily to whiten your teeth, it's not recommended. Instead, it's recommended for you to consider whitening products that are specifically designed to safely and effectively whiten your teeth. It isn't worth putting the health of your mouth at risk just to save 30 bucks, which is how much you can generally find white strips at the store. I know this peroxide bottle costs like $1, but the future problems this can cause in your mouth, it's not worth it. You won't even be saving money in the long run. I'll again link my whitening videos in the description box below if you want to learn more about how to safely whiten your teeth and I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. And if you want more Teeth Talk you can visit my website teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Until next time, peace, love, and teeth.